Wow, what a truly blessed city. Surely nothing could ever go wrong in such a mighty fine, well-established land with impressive temples and uh, crippling neck infections, mighty tombs and ch children being devoured by the local wildlife on a frightening basis, and the river providing everything this city could need with uh, simultaneous and occasional starvation because the robot ran out of power. Truly a blessed town for a blessed pe people. What was that? Truly a blessed town for a blessed people. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have chosen a better time there, Mate. And this blessed town for blessed people needs blessed names. I'm going to return to the mighty names list to uh, give some of these people a bit more, a bit more of a personality, a bit more of a distinction from one another. Unless, of course, they've already made a name for themselves in the colony. I won't be changing Timo's name. I think Wesley King is his set name now. That's been going on for too long. And of course, Jerry and the robots are going to get the same, but everybody else will be blessed in the Holy River. So the first thing we'll do today is build a blessed ritual point where we can rename all of our people and... Uh, douse them in the river. You can't really say baptize, can you? Partially drown them in the rivers of denial so that they can gain new names. And I'll probably scoop up all the... <laughs> all the dead bodies. Nothing says blessed ritual like a bit of tuberculosis from all the rotten corpses. And after that, I think it's long overdue that our pharaoh gets a mighty citadel, a, a house, a castle, whatever you like to call it, a residence for him and his dynasty to rule from. And I did leave a very convenient spot on the map for... What was that? What do you mean, prison break? Didn't you hear all my bits about blessed city, blessed people where nothing can go wrong? I mean, whenever you're ready, watching for targets. Here, let's, um, let's go ahead and throw that sword on the floor. We do need to take this one alive. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, that was almost a disaster. Oh, I mean, any time now. Any time now. Any, any time now. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Why is the pharaoh not moving? Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did forget about that aspect of it. You may remember yesterday the Pharaoh almost died. And by almost died, I mean was was less than 1% off of dying horribly from a neck infection. That did somewhat overshadow the fact that both of the Pharaoh's legs were cut off. Um, well, it's the Mr. Krabs treatment for you, my friend. Ooh, did she succeed? Oh, well, I was about to go on a big tangent about how Lowe certainly has never failed a surgery before, but no, she actually actually managed to pull that one off. Who could have guessed that our actually fairly well-skilled doctor might succeed on a surgery on a human being rather than an alleged robot? The Pharaoh walks again. Lo, you will be remembered for this moment. I mean, Lo is part of the blessed Struka dynasty ones who have saved both little Wes King and the Pharaoh multiple times over. I mean, they've already got a pretty big mansion. I don't know how else I can really bless them at this stage. Maybe actual furniture. Hang on. We're not allowed to build wooden beds, but we can build wooden cribs. If only there was a way to make this crib slightly larger for actual adult people. No, that could never happen. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, sir. This initiation is for colonists only. Yeah, you better walk away. Now, if you remember, many moons ago, lots of people suggested that we make the pharaohs of the colony the psychic masters. The people blessed by the gods, and that's an inheritable thing. Somebody said at level 10 Silink, it was in the comments yesterday, so it could be a lie. Somebody said at level 10 Silink, they can bestow Silinks on other characters. It would be incredible if every pharaoh's goal was to get up to that level 10 Silink so they can bestow upon their heir the ability to gain silence. Then, of course, they can connect with the anima tree and, and keep going beyond that one. The Pharaoh's initiation that we set up a while ago gives that ability. So I think, why not for our people, for, for our big renaming ritual here, because uh, it's only going to happen once, we should do the Pharaoh's initiation for Jerry, given that he hasn't technically been initiated as Pharaoh quite yet. That way, it's as close to our, our holy ritual as we can get right now, but everybody gains something. Jerry gains some new psi powers. The colonists gain some new names that they probably don't want, judging by the look of the names list. Oh, I'm doing it to Tet Mate, no cancel. Here we go. Braytech, legendary eagle warrior and servant of Jerry, creation of Jerry, is going to lead the people in a unifying speech about how great Jerry truly is. It's Obama giving Obama the medal meme. <laughs> Why, yes, robot I made. I am very, very good. Oh, Jerry has collapsed under the psychic powers of his people. Is he going to be blessed by the gods? Now, not only if it is satisfying will he guarantee a silent, but if it's a, an exceptionally good ritual, there's a chance he can gain two. Jerry already broke Imperial Law by going up to Psy level 7, so this could take him up to Psy level 9 if we are particularly lucky. This could be a great moment. The sun shines on you, Jerry. It actually worked. Satisfying. Oh, shit. Wait, what was the chance of gaining a, a double silent from satisfying, I wonder? Uh... If the side channeling is satisfying or spectacular, so the two best outcomes, the participants may gain a silent level. 
I wonder what the chance of that happening was. Maybe Jerry truly is blessed. We tend to get that yo-yo going, don't we? One minute, J Jerry maybe actually is blessed by the gods. The other minute, he's a con man and it's all, all, all fake. Wow, two more silent levels. Holy crap. So what can you do with that, little Jerry? Um, oh, word of insanity. A level eight silent. We can whisper horrific truths and send people insane. What does that do? What's the difference between that and say, say a berserker pulse or something like that? Why are you eating raw meat? Rebecca. Rebecca, eat the meat. Induce horror. Level nine. Gives paralytic abasia. The person has seen too much that they can't take it anymore. Only an operation to remove this memory could fix it. Oh, crap. Jerry can permanently ruin someone's life. If there's like an amazing colonist that we want. I wonder if it's a, like a 30-day paralytic abasia or whether it is truly permanent. Because that way, if, if there's somebody that we really, really want, 18 years of age, really good stats and traits and everything, we blast them with that, we knock them down, and then maybe we can... Whoa, it's 50 heat, though. Wowee. I wish I knew what this one did. Just whisper horrific truths. How strange. This is officially our most powerful psychic par character we've ever had. Neural heat limit times 360%. 75% consciousness. Jerry is seeing things beyond the mortal veil. He looks as if he's seeing things beyond the mortal veil. <laughs> Every single Discord NSFW channel simultaneously streaming into the man's mind. There's no wonder he can whisper insanity at people. Oh, and would you look at that? The holy renaming ritual was a success. The person previously known as Low is now Lee Zero. The person previously known as Daniels is Choppy De Bear. And the person previously known as Davidson is Avion. And then little tiny Valentine is Nastadoa. Hello. Truly great comedic names. Why are you not eating... The meals! What's wrong with you? Why are you eating meat and not meals? It doesn't make any damn sense. Meal. Meal. It, it, it's almost as if it contains a, an illegal ingredient. Crocodile meat, buffalo meat, tortoise meat. Is it because crocodiles are a venerated animal? Maybe. Are they a venerated animal? They are. I wonder if that's the problem. I wonder if they just won't eat. Oh... Does that one also contain... Yeah, crocodile meat. I think the meals are tainted. I think that must be the issue, right? Hang on. Let's see if you if you consume that, that you get sad about it. Um, Partner is pregnant. Minus 10. My partner is pregnant, but I dislike children. <laughs> Missing tongue. Oh. Oh. A crocodile bit off your jaw. Ah. Right, well, maybe you should be considering that's a good thing, given that you apparently venerate crocodiles so much you'd rather eat raw meat. Uh, let's see if that gives him a negative. Um, eight venerated animal meat. Ah, oh, that explains it. Right, so let's be very careful about these uh, butcher spots in the future. No cat meat, crocodile meat, or hippo meat here. No, sir. Guess the robots didn't get the uh, didn't get the memo. Be nice if that was automatic based on the idea of legend, huh? But never mind. Never mind, we've learned a valuable lesson here today. I got, God knows how long they've been eating raw meat for, if that's the case, because we've only cooked up to 20 meals. And they're not going to go frozen, they're not going to rot. Have they seriously been eating... Have they seriously been eating raw meat all this time? Now, our last research was togas. Ooh. Tallow will allow us to make some sculptures. A tallow bird bath? Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not going to argue with that. Basic autopsy. For when the pharaohs die, we can collect their organs and place them in canopic jars. How old is Jerry? Jerry is 49 years of age. In that case, I feel like going for the autopsy, because that's going to be a necessary thing we do when we bury the pharaoh. I feel like we've got to do it. No, come on. As if we haven't got enough on our plate, by which I mean we haven't got anything on our plate because all our people have been eating raw meat for the last God knows how long. Bray Tech, why are you so slow? Did you lose a leg? Oh, oh, right. Right, yeah, that did happen. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for the bionics in hindsight. Get him, Braytek. Okay, that's one down. Get him, Braytek. I, I'm not. I don't care about taking prisoners at this point. Our people are too weak. They are too weak, and they need, ideally, some time off and maybe some good meals rather than random raw food. Nice. There you go. There you go. Okay, that's one group gone. Uh, another group is attacking the pyramid. Another group's coming down from the top. So I think we take our stand at the bridge. Let's get Braytek to lead the charge on this group. See if we can kill them before they. I mean, it's two people versus one charge rifle, but it's also nighttime. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, this is a mistake, isn't it? Ooh. I mean, if it's longbow versus charge rifle, I like those odds. I'd like to take back my previous statement. <laughs> Run. Run, little break tech. Oh. Okay, charge in, team. 
Poor Braytech. I think his shield will hold up, but I'm not sure about this. Jerry. Pharaoh Jerry. Let's him do some horror, shall we? Use your newly found powers, my friend. Boom. The will of the Pharaoh. It lasts 10 days. Oh, that's great. I mean, that guarantees prisoners. Man, the heat, though, is insane. And it does use a lot of Psy Focus, too. Man, that is really nice. That's basically one free person per raid. Um... What, what, what's that though? What are you doing there? I don't like that. Uh, move forward. Eee! The Holy River! You can't light fire to the Holy River! How dare you! Get him. Get him, squad. You're up against the greatest fighters this side of the desert. And you wait. You wait till baby Wes comes of age. I, I kid his double passion melee. Pharaoh Wes is, is... Violence is his middle name. Get him. <laughs> Wesley Violence King. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Do we want you? Um, 38 melee... It's basically your only skill worth talking. Ah, you're okay. You're okay. Food for the crocodiles. Ooh, the colonist formerly known as Lo, Lee Zero, has given birth to another, another member of the mighty Struka dynasty. You people need to slow down. I can't build this many houses. In response, little baby Alina's uh, older brother there, Nastadoa, has decided to levitate. <laughs> like a scene from The Exorcist. I feel like we need to rename this from generations to generation. One generation. A uh, Timo's generation. The fun room of the temple I was originally going to have as a uh, an anima tree room, where the pharaoh could connect with the god spiritual. Uh, but instead, why not have a little tiny learning room slash room slash little library until we build the actual proper full on library? I'm not really sure where we build that. I guess we could put it down here. But we've got so many massive projects to do. Oh, crocodile attacking after being harmed. I was a trade caravan. That's not our fault. We've got to finish the grand walls. We've got to build the pharaoh's residence, etc., etc. We're just going to combine that into a single room right here, and then we'll move the anima tree uh, kind of psychic zone. The things that are generally meant only for the pharaohs, right? So the technology, the illegal, very secret technology that no one has seen so far besides Jerry King and Wes, who's going to have to have that explained to him when he's older. And, of course, Braytech and Mate. We'll move all of that, the anima tree, everything in front of the pharaoh's palace. Or into the deepest, darkest pits of the pharaoh's palace. Did we actually finish the learning research? Neolithic desk, we did. Okay, um, we'll put that out of limestone, I suppose, and build a little, a little school for the children. Because now there is, uh, now we've got four of them. And probably, potentially, many more on the way. And it's not just the children that can learn for that, it's the adults too. But, of course, the children can't do other jobs for some time. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've heard of these things. Well, it's a good job I checked that because it turns out all this time, well, probably not all this time since the most recent alpha memes update, we have the ability to build a pyramid. Wowee, that is obscene. It's it's bigger than the other pyramid, but smaller than the, uh, than the major pyramid. Wow. Oh, I like that a lot. And we can also build a sphinx if we get enough blocks to do that. That's incredible. I was actually thinking of putting one each in the river. I think that would look amazing. And these were actually the reason I was so desperate to get to art last episode. So it turns out these used to be made at an art bench. But of course, us being Neolithic, we can't get them until we get to Medieval. Um, also, I mean, they're quite heavy. I mean, it's uh, 100,000 kilograms. So that was a that was a hell of an impressive art bench. Huh? Oh, it's got like a... Oh, it's got a, it's got a radius around it. I wonder what that's for. Oh, man. And I thought the Great Wall was ridiculous. But this is... This is even sillier. Could have built two of those. Primal butchering for organs often used in rituals. However, quite barbaric. You, this is our culture. How dare you? Road building. Ooh. I, I mean, we're not going to go for road building and the empire aspect of things until we've actually got the base set up with everything we need. You know, like a school for the countless amount of children. Uh, salty preservation. Herbalism. Ooh. Got all sorts of weird cures. Actually, a dedicated apothecary building might be quite good, given that we're quite limited in what we can do with that. Say, for example, oh, I don't know, one of our colonists gets a life-threatening neck infection that might kill them. This could be quite handy. If you remember, one of the rules I did say is, depending on the pharaoh who's leading, when we're a bit more established, so maybe not with Jerry quite yet, they will base their rulership and their leadership on their skills, what they want to see, what they want to do. Jerry has a high passion for crafting and melee and social and intellectual, so picking research that is... Related to those, I think makes a lot more sense. Herbalism, I can justify as as crafting, I think. But really, art, tailoring, weapon crafting, anything like that would be perfect for Jerry. Arcadius littered the river again with all of these rocks a couple of episodes back. But I didn't realize he sent more plasteel. And we can't get plasteel any other way besides the meteors. We've got 525. We can make a really legendary set of gear for a future, say, I don't know, a future combat-orientated dragon-slaying pharaoh with a passion in 
murder. Volatile. Oh. Mental break threshold. Global certainty loss factor. Volatile. The angry pharaoh. I like that. You know, I'm looking at yet another raid of bandits and I'm thinking, my god, we should probably craft some better gear, shouldn't we? Wait, what? Jerry's sister is here? What, well, did they have the same idea or something? Ash. Wait, is it? It was her, right? I'm not going mad. Social? Brother is Jerry King. Ash Meister. <laughs> Jerry's, Jerry's sister, 68 years of age. What was she exiled here before him? Ah. Oh. Well, like I was saying, I think we do need some better armor, some better weapons, but um, we're kind of limited. Maybe that's what will focus Jerry's life work on, on, on being right now. Crafting some incredible stuff. The guy has a double passion for it. He's the Pharaoh. There's no excuse that his people would have gear that we've just scavenged up off of raiders. As soon as this wall is built, the raiders will be less less of a problem anyway. Um, where's all of our people? Hey, you wanna you wanna hurry up? They're they're like right there. Oh god, we need some Oh, prosthetics pretty fast. Um, where's Braytech? Braytech, you're the one who's gonna be dealing with this raid. Oh god. Okay, okay, get him. Get him, squad. Oh, Timo, Timo, Timo. Oh, Timo the Slayer. Be careful with that gun. Timo's already down. Are you joking? Timo, what's wrong with you? Mighty Pharaoh Jerry, search and destroy. Back to everybody. Search and destroy. Braytech. Friendly fire, my man. Get him. Get him. Nice. <laughs> Imagine those being your last words. Also getting a lot of enemies with ranged weapons now, huh? It's like the bandits are learning. They can't beat us in a... In a long distance fight, Choppy is down. Choppy is down. Mate, mate, mate. Change direction. They're fleeing, they're fleeing. Okay, you know what? We're also gonna flee. By which I mean we're gonna celebrate our victory in the opposite direction. We need better gear. This is this is so silly. Stabbed in the crossbow, but otherwise fine. Uh bleeding out in 16 hours. Two condition need tending. Actually, we're not we're not doing too bad. Timo went down. Timo, why did you fall over? I guess just your moving is so inherently slow. Oh, it's the burn scar from the Persona Plasma Sword? <laughs> Jerry chopped off two-thirds of his leg. Yeah, that would probably do it. And Choppy the Bear, Choppy the Bear's in a little bit of trouble. But honestly, that wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible to say that we are using that scavenge gear. Okay, I think that's everybody patched up. You know, a hospital probably wouldn't be a bad idea either. In fact, that would have made far more sense for the temple uh, uh, as a house of healing, having, a, you know, actually some healing in the house of healing rather than a luxurious hot spring. <laughs> Who needs a place for your people to fight the infections that would otherwise murder them when you could have a luxury spa? I suppose the towers on the edges we could turn into some sort of, uh, some sort of tending rooms. That's fine. Maybe just put that in there with a lamp. That's not terrible. What about the anvil? Surely we can get something from that. Ah. Round shields, kite shields, heater shields, centurion armor, though isn't appropriate so much for this one. I suppose we can justify it because our neighbors are three different empires that use that type of gear. So that makes a little more sense. Pickaxes for everybody would be, would be really nice. And you know what? Hammers too. Given that we've got one or two things to build. One or two or hundreds and <laughs> hundreds of things. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jerry is, um... Disciplining his child because his child is running around insulting people and he decided to Open up with that. <laughs> this is a very controversial opinion. I feel like rather than having the kids stone cutting all day. How about How about we have them learning as their top priority? I know I know very brave. Look at that We've got ourselves a little class led by Pharaoh Jerry. We didn't do any schooling in the original generation series because the children's school and learning schools were a little bit of a pain in the ass. Have to designate school areas and then have a teacher, and then of course that's determined by the work schedule. This is just so much simpler. This is just so much simpler. Venting to Rebecca. You've been here for five minutes. How can this school be that bad? Beacons for friendly reinforcements. Not relevant quite yet, but when we set up our empire, of course, where they're always allied to us, that could be that could be fantastic. Jerry's little angels. Crafting bench. Crafting bench sounds useful. Legionary armor mosaics. Oh, can we not just invent clothes? Can we not just invent clothes? Powders for herbal teas, food condiments, artificial limbs. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take that one. You better be all wishing Pharaoh Jerry happy birthday. It is his 51st birthday. He is an old ass man. And in better news, the wall is finally finished. All we had to do was get every single colonist working on it around the clock, sacrificing food, research, Crafting everything and these mud brick walls make themselves you throw you, th you throw them together and then you put them to dry 
and that's it. That took the equivalent of five years of Jerry's life, given that we started that, you know, midway through yesterday's episode. That is, that is insane. I mean, five years to build an external wall, I'd say, honestly, everything's about the right level. I'm really, really happy with the, with the age balancing. And all the kids are at school where you're learning there. I've given each desk a different, fairly important job. Obviously, if there was a particular kid that we wanted to train in a particular aspect, we could just get them working at that desk. So, for example, I think for Rebecca, what have you got there? You've got double social passion. But ideally, we want the pharaoh to be doing that, right? And then one cooking passion. So if we just set her up on the on the cooking desk, whichever that one is, or alternatively, like, clear all the bills and just give them a specific one. There we are. So I've given Rebecca the cooking skill. Obviously, only she can do that job. Wes, I decided to go for melee. Again, restricted only to Wes there, mainly because he was born as a baby with eight melee double passion. And he's not going to be able to train it as a, as a child because his body is just so fragile. Body size is tied to HP. So poor little Wes is gonna get annihilated if we try and train him up the normal way. So he can sit there and read a bunch of a bunch of melee manuals. Maybe Braytech and Tetmate have, have jotted some stuff down for him to learn from. And then Nastadoa has a single passion in artistic. I decided we might as well train him in that one. The other one's animals, which isn't so useful. But we're training the, the future of this here settlement. Pharaoh Wes can be leading his troops into battle and, and fending off the enemies. You got Nastadoa, who's really gonna be important for all the all the artistic and obelisks and sphinxes we're gonna build. What did Alina have? passions in. Plants. I mean, it couldn't work out any better, right? With those four characters, we have the basis of a colony. Ideally, we need someone in construction, but I don't think Marte is going to die anytime soon. Are you still chopping blocks? Do we need any more blocks? I suppose up next, we've got the Pharaoh's residence. Let's have them automatically take those to stockpiles. That should affect all of it. That way, we can blast them into pristine limestone. And then as soon as we have that set up, we can start linking Jerry and the future pharaohs with the anima tree. And like I said, we have that really cool mod that even when you hit maximum psi level, normally six in the base game, ten in this one, you can keep linking over and over to gain new random powers. I really like that idea. So let's blast that one over. And then Jerry can start teaching Lil Wes about psi links and the secrets of technology. Do you have anyone else at all good at research? Uh, Wes, is it? Alina has a single passion. I might train her up. Because when Jerry dies, we haven't got anyone to replace him. So maybe instead of plants, we'll train her in, in research instead. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and throw... You can't train research. Oh, uh, intellectual. We're training intellectual. I can't imagine this is very fast, though, right? I mean, of course, it'll add up, given that they can, they can repeat this job over and over forever. Looks like she didn't actually gain anything that time. Hang on. Three point... 3.41, 3.43. Okay, so it's it's not determined when they... Braytech. Braytech. What, what are you doing? We can't tame him. We can't tame him because they don't eat food. The energy cells. You could give her permission to handle the energy cells. She's not going to know what they are. Jerry can say they're some sort of sun disk from Ra. We don't have to, we don't have to clarify that they're a futuristic energy cell. Maybe she won't question it. A secret task from the Pharaoh. It's either that or we let one of our best colonists disappear forever. Um, I think I can justify this. I think this is allowed. Energy... Energy cell? What are they called? Oh, power cell. She still can't tame him even though they're allowed. Ah. Ah. Um. <laughs> that, is a, that is a horrendous oversight. Our best arrest chance is 50%. Jerry, go and bring in Braytech. No, Braytech. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, the trade caravan. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Okay, he's down. Go ahead and capture Braytech. We're going to have to re recruit him, I suppose. No! The gods have spoken. We have failed them. Poor Braytech. One of the pawns he thought was dead and gone has returned again. Mole. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, we need to be cremating these corpses a little faster. Uh, Pharaoh Jerry. If you could slay the undead with your holy sword. Where are you going? Are you getting out of there? That's a, that's a, that's a temple. There is no other explanation for it. Um. <laughs> the gods have cursed us. The gods have cursed us for letting, our, for letting our people down. Right, no more undead. I'm not allowing them to carry off all of my very fancy furniture. Why are you sad? Jerry needs to step up his game as Pharaoh. What's up? No recent trades. We, we need artwork. We need a shape of Ra, a bright carving Ra's image. Hey, without a table, that's your fucking problem. There's clearly a table. Disgusting eclipse, very little art around. The art is the problem. We're letting our people down. I don't think we can do anything about art, though. A monolith? Uh, I, that could work. Monolith turtle? Monolith two heads? 
Hang on a second. Are you telling me there are specific monoliths for the specific events that have happened? Oh, I like that a lot. <laughs> That's definitely something new. Well, let's throw them down outside the temple then. We can create a giant a, a giant diary of everything that's ever happened in the colony out here. Jerry and Avila's relationship anniversary is happening today. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. Jerry never forgot about her in all this time. And they've already finished the... Uh... Oh my god, they've even got little images representing what happened on them. Look, it's a character with two heads. And this one has the tortoise. That is... That's amazing. Thank you. We have the Storm Tortoise, and we have the Dragonborn Pharaoh from where little Wes was born on the corpse of a giant dragon. I feel like we need to throw him down just a, a generic one for Jerry, like the founding of the colony. Artificial limbs can now be crafted at a crafting spot. No more wooden-legged robots. <laughs> well, I guess now all of the projects are done, and there isn't anything else I urgently want to make. I don't think we have the kitchen, we have the research room, the temple's done. Everything's in a pretty good place. I think now we start working on the Pharaoh's mansion. Oh, well, I mean, we've still got the, got the sphinxes to work on. I don't know if we can even make any progress with that one, right? Because it's technically in the deep water. What? That was two seconds. What the hell happened? Choppy went berserk because of an alcohol withdrawal. Oh, and then attacked the Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh righteously ended him. <laughs> Choppy to bear. I mean, attacking the Pharaoh would have been a cause for execution anyway. The Pharaoh does not need a, ju a jury to execute you, my friend. The Pharaoh is the jury. Game. A pox on your household. You didn't have a household because there's only one lady in this whole colony. Very fortunately, I did queue up, as I said, a, a new pyramid, which I joked about last episode. We can make the pyramid of villains. But you know what? I'm committing to it. This is now the Pyramid of Villains. Our Cometic Decorations mod, you're knocking it out of the park here. You remember how last time I said, you know, these are Pharaoh sarcophagus, we can't put Pharaohs in there? They've added just a regular plain old Cometic sarcophagus. We will build it out of bone to contain the curse. If we're ever going to have vengeful spirits, I feel like them coming out of the the Tomb of Villains is probably quite likely. We need statues as well. We need, we need like statues of colonists to stand outside and and guard the tomb. And though we now have early organ removal, I don't think that Choppy De Bear deserves it. I'm sorry. Apparently the organs were removed to preserve the body except for the heart because it contained all the knowledge. Why don't we remove Choppy's heart and bury the rest? Let's put the autopsies inside the temple as a place to prepare the honored, or in this case, dishonored dead. They need steel. How much have we got? 225. Oh shit. Um, we can actually only build two tables. Or we can build three, but I'm only going to build two. We have butcher one corpse, four organ, and then we're going to say only colonist corpses. The whole point of this is preservation, so that the, the, the honored dead remain as they are. Now, we of course can't just say remove the heart. So what we're going to do is take everything and the rest we will cremate. We will burn it. It'll complete butcher for organs. Uh, where are the organs? What? <laughs> yeah, but what happened to the organs, though? <laughs> Ah. She, you know, she just she just diced him. She was so bad at her job, she diced him. You know what? Fine. As long as the heart's destroyed, that's all that matters. Now we bury the dishonored dead. Those who would dare attack the Pharaoh. Maybe that's what this tomb will be for. Anybody who tries to uh, tries to overthrow or kill the Pharaoh or attacks the Pharaoh. Oh shit, it won't even let us have a funeral for him. It won't even let us have a funeral. Oh, it did say funeral desired until we removed his organs. That's really interesting. I presume that's because with the Idea Legend, we have either a pyramid funeral or a mummification ritual. But because he didn't deserve either and we've just buried him, we can we can move on with our lives. Now we've got all of the important boring stuff out of the way, like autopsy rooms, schools, and hospitals. A term I'm using very loosely indeed. Now we start with aesthetics. Jerry wants a glorious city, and that's what Jerry's going to get. It's already looking quite nice. Just limestone slabs around the path. That's already elevated the damn thing. It's still got loads left to build. No more distractions. Time for the Pharaoh's mansion. So we'll make it parallel to the pyramids because that'll look, I mean, that'll look quite nice. I, I can see it now. Big statues of the gods on either side, flanked by fountains and rivers, rivers overflowing with, you know, plants like the rest of the damn city. A great big entrance room where we can put big old statues and treasure and gold. What shape am I going to do this? I feel like everything's got to be a bit more... A bit more squared up than my usual buildings. Is that over the top at all? 
Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. It's kind of annoying that we got the hot springs born there because it means that the whole layout of the building is a little bit strange. I built the whole thing out of mud brick. You're telling me, I mean, obviously it's not built yet, but I have to replant it all now out of pristine limestone. Oh, God. Shit. Um, is there also, there is also fine walls. And I mean, if this is the Pharaoh's palace, I'll be honest, I don't really like this anyway. I don't really like that anyway. I think I have a slightly better plan for the Pharaoh's mansion now. So this bomb room here will be uh, the throne room or whatever kind of equivalent thing that we have there. Obviously, we don't have ranks, so maybe a throne room isn't so relevant. Then we've got the kind of entrance and hall areas where we'll put up statues and, and kind of objects of interest that we accrue over the course of the playthrough. We've got the bedroom here that can lead to the Pharaoh's private hot spring. And this room up here, which is more isolated than the rest of them, will be behind, I don't know, maybe a couple of different locks and keys. In fact, we could have a separate little kind of corridor, maybe with several different doors going along the way to lock it down entirely. That's where we'll have the technology in, in this room here. Then at the very back of the mansion, we'll, we'll transplant a lot of the soil. We can do that. We can collect it from elsewhere, move it over. We'll build the pharaoh a little private garden, but we'll also throw down the anima tree back here. And I've just built a large nature shrine to kind of simulate that. I think the anima tree uses a larger area, but we can tweak it. It's fine. It's just for flavor. Oh, first raid since the wall was complete. Now, if this works as intended, you know, like a wall should, in theory, they should be forced to walk around. And that's exactly what they're doing. That gives time for our guards to actually get up there. Or I suppose in this case, guards plus the pharaoh, given that oh, people are dying quite fast these days, aren't they? Uh, to be fair, one of them did attack the pharaoh. And it still takes a long time to get across the city, though, doesn't it, huh? Jerry is miles away. Who else are we waiting for? Timo, you... Uh, take my tay. Okay, Avion's almost there. We should be fine. God damn, losing, losing Braytech, at least temporarily, is going to be a real pain in the ass. Nice work. Uh, Pharaoh Jerry. In fact, do you lot just want to search and destroy? Maybe, like, actually chase down the raiders? Uh, not that they can, of course, because our people are so bloody slow. <laughs> They're going to nick straight for Jerry. Uh, which one do we want to take? We could grab one of these people. You're 21. Ooh, with 10 construction, double passion. Sandra Green. Sandra Green, the grass is very literally greener today. Paralytic Abasia for you. I mean, I know making her temporarily entirely paralyzed probably isn't that nice a thing to do. Get her. She's down. She's down. She is ours. That is a free colonist right there. Uh, bring down Chavez. How are we looking up here? Are we all good team? Everyone's taken a bit of a hit, but it's fine. They're still unstoppable. Okay, Sandra Green, go to prison. Who else have we got up here? Anybody good? 23 years old. Nine plant skills shooting. Oh, okay, grab her. Bleeding out in three hours. Uh, let's get you to tend them. This is great. This might help fill up our colony a little bit. We'll capture everybody, and then all the spare ones can go to uh, go to the Empire. When we finish the base, of course. There's no point building an Empire if you haven't finished the first bloody city. Braytech. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Oh, sweet Godsman Avion. Another goddamn leg. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing left of this colony. I think collectively we've actually got like five colonists here. What do we need for these new body parts then? I presume it's the artificial limbs. We need a hundred steel. Oh, steel's really hard to get. You have an invented steel. We can get iron ore from iron ingots, which we need to set up settlements to be able to produce the ingots so that then we can smelt. Um, smelt metal from slag. Yeah, let's do that forever. I'm sure there are some drop pods, which the people don't need to know about. Oh, look who came crawling back. Little Braytech realized he didn't like being in prison. What a shocker. Oh, oh, wait. Wait, wait. Little Braytech might have broken down because he hasn't got any arms. Oh. <laughs> wait, has that always been the case? Did he run wild because I didn't actually... Because you couldn't eat food? You couldn't do anything? No. Oh, maybe. Oh, am I that bad? <laughs> You might also notice that uh, the city I've I've paved over, paved over the main parts, because it's really hard to walk in the desert. 62% walk speed in the uh, soft sand. Uh, sorry, in the regular sand, and then the soft sand is 45%. So now let's use all the limestone we've accrued, of which we've accrued a shitload. Well, we had a shitload anyway. Um, and and pave the city first. The Pharaoh's mansion hasn't really gone anywhere because of that. Now we've got Braytech, who's good at building. 15.22 construction. The problem is Braytech hasn't got arms. Um, do you have any spare iron arms? And you need a new leg. Oh, God. This is really hard. What did people do in ancient times with the lost an arm? What, they just had to live without an arm? Well, I mean, obviously. Obviously. That's what a silly question. Let's do until we've always got two iron arms. And then, can we build any sort of leg? Artificial leg is 100 steel. 
and 25 wood. That's just not viable. Does anybody else need a peg leg? Uh, you need one in your left leg. Jerry, do you need a peg leg? No. Marte, uh, could install a peg leg, but it'd be a bit rude. You need a peg leg, right? No, you've just been bitten. Okay. You need a peg leg. That's right. Why do you need to anesthetize someone to put a peg leg on? Can't you just strap it on? What, are we, like, grafting it onto them? That's a bit weird. I don't think you're qualified to do that. They're like shoeing a horse. <laughs> oh, what a shocker. You failed. Oh, weird. Come on. There we go. Okay. I do think the robots have a lower success chance on surgery. I, I, it's the only way I can explain why we consistently fail with the robots, but not anyone else. And I think many, many hours later and a handful of raids... That's probably all we've got time for today, but I think the progress is is absolutely fantastic. It's starting to look like a proper little city here. What I, I love, still love this mechanic, still won't be the favorite thing we did in Generations 1, was the, the kind of natural city growth. Though we're not doing so much of the Generations aspect, the Eras aspect, where we're going to go medieval and then industrial. I still love the fact that we have those starting buildings. We still have that, that building that was the original mining camp from the first map. We still have that original building that we've built and just kind of retrofitted it all out. I think it's looking quite nice. Maybe when we get to the medieval era, we will knock down some of the buildings and, and try and build them a bit more modern in the sense of, you know, it being an era after that. Then hopefully we get the grand Pharaoh's building done. Then Jerry can start training Wes in sidecasting so that Wes is a, a suitable Pharaoh to take over the dynasty. And then, of course, we have three new characters in the prison who will hopefully help us grow the city even more. And as soon as we finish the Pharaoh's mansion tomorrow, the only thing I really want to build after that is, of course, the, the sphinxes and then maybe one of those grand pyramids that we'll use to bury Jerry and only Jerry. I like that idea. But after then just regular remote i mean this is this is you know partly how you play remote how you like if this is re your regular remote then that's great i quite like a break from all of the ridiculous combat series for uh, every now and again it's a lot of fun just building a little city huh thank you of course to the mighty patrons who've been very patient over the past month while i deal with all of my real life woes and tribulations hopefully we'll be done by next month hopefully things will be at least have a semblance of normality back again but in the meantime i thank you to biv big daddy mr hunk sir my coxlong don't <laughs> <laughs> Bubka, Josh Lunt, the White Fox God, Selfish Ghost, Moira Valkyrie, Mithrin, James Barrett, Fake, Nicholas Carnifax, Zoe Meadows, Rock Death Raven, Black Onyx, Altertine, Hoofenspiel, PD, Evan Crocker, and Alex Dimitri for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. YouTube, if you're about to demonetize me for that, their name is Mike space oxlong o-x-l-o-n-g that's i'm not saying anything i don't deserve to be demonetized for that one. Oh god they're gonna take the house thank you to michael sojek stomper mr yeti mon mon rage rabbit dead mr meeseeks garen vagadov Plation, thomas holt noah dunkley sandy who is emerald beam harpio natnart tyler vegan slayer lawrence and the machine mantle kevin and mark is absent as well see you all tomorrow for some rim rim what do you think about rim rim